From the cow pastures in East Texas, here now is Judy Griffin, performing stand-up comedy before a live audience. Tonight she will be her alter ego, Edna Earl Whipple, and think about it, please welcome Judy Griffin. Howdy. Howdy. Woo! This wind might blow me over. <laughs> well, it's a pleasure to be here at, uh, let me see if I can do it correct, Lakeside Sunday School of Hideaway Lake Community Church. Am I close? Woo! Hey, do I have an amen for this view? Lordy, lordy, he knew what he was doing, didn't he? Let me pull my table a little closer. Now y'all, this is supposed to be funny. So if it sounds a little funny, just chuckle. But if it feels like you really want to let, let one out, just do so, I'll wait for you. It ain't no problem. <laughs> I'd love to introduce myself to each and every one of you, but I don't have that much time and we're running low on light. So I'll just introduce myself and you just say hi back at me, all right? I am Edna Earl Wimple. Now, howdy, and uh, a lot of people say, Edna Earl, how did you ever get a name like Earl as a middle name? And I said, well, it all goes back to my mama. My mama, Evelyn, well, back in high school, she fell in love with this boy named Earl. Well, he went off to war. You remember the big one? And after that, well, she met my daddy. So Evelyn May married Lester T. Wimple but she always remembered her boy, Earl. And she said, if I ever have children, I'm gonna name them Earl, so I can always remember my first love. Well, Mom had four children, and I have an older sister, her name is Evelyn Earl, and, and then it was me, Edna Earl. Then my other sister, Edith Earl, and then Lordy, Lordy, what a surprise! My little baby brother showed up. She named him Earl Earl. <laughs> well, it kind of worked for my mama because every once in a while, you know how your mama just yells out at you and you don't know if you're in trouble or if you're getting cookies or what? She'd yell out, Earl, get in here. We all came running. So that's how I got the name Earl. But I came from a family that really appreciated education. How about y'all? Did y'all families enjoy education? Oh, what a bunch of dummies. I didn't see any hands go up. There you go. Oh, good girl. I'm, I'm proud of you. Well, I went off to college, and, and I stayed there and did real good till I got my MRS. Did anybody else get an MRS in college? Mrs. Well, then I dropped out, and that didn't work out too good either. So my mama says, uh, the better education you get, the better you're going to be. So I went back to college. You liked that, did you? I'll wait for you. Uh, so I went back to college and I got my D-O-M-E. Anybody else have a D-O-M-E? No. Well, I have a D-O-M-E. That's a Doctor of Mirth and Entertainment. So I am a professional and you shouldn't try this unless you're a professional also. All right? Uh, as I have matured, I have retired. Any retirees besides me here tonight? Don't you just love it? I mean, you don't have to get up until you want to. You don't have to do anything unless you want to. I love it. But the thing that bothers me is I have more time than I ever had. Do you agree? More time than you ever had, except you can't get it all done in one day. The time I'm talking about is Time to think. I think a lot. And the title of my show is Think About It. Well, at my age, I have to have cue cards. So I'm going to reach in my pocket and hopefully I come out with number one. Oh, I did. Thank you, Jesus. All right. Uh, no, I don't need that one. Okay, we'll go to card number two. All right. 
Well, things that worry me. Any of y'all worriers out there? Things that worry me. Now, I want you to think about it, okay? When you go to a 24-hour business, you know, like a grocery store or maybe a, gr a gas station, why do they lock the bathrooms? <laughs> I've been thinking about that. That worries me. What about Walmart? Do we have any Walmart shoppers? Have you ever stopped to count the number of checkers that are open out of the 32 checker stations? I believe during Christmas I saw seven out of 32. Now, why does Walmart need 32 checkers? Checker stands, they don't even have that many checkers. Oh, this one really worries me. Ladies, you can appreciate this. When you're doing the laundry and you pull out that lint catcher and you have all that lint, do you suppose if you left your clothes in there, they'd just disappear? <laughs> Where does all that lint come from? How about your watch? Have you looked at your watch lately? The thing that bothers me about my watch is, why do they call the, the uh, second hand, why don't they call it the third hand? It's the third one on there. <laughs> second hand doesn't make much sense. Oh, and this one I know you can relate to. I have a few props, not many. If I can, if I can find it here, there it is. Do you remember elementary glue? Why doesn't glue stick to the inside of the bottle? It says on here it'll stick anything, but it doesn't stick to the bottle. How do they figure that out? Okay, now this is a little serious here. Even though it's comedy, it's a little serious, and I apologize if I step on anybody's feet, but I did bring my boots. Did you notice Cowboy Evening? I brought my boots. Think about it. When you die, your family is going to choose your outfit. Are you going to spend eternity in that outfit? Maybe you should make a recommendation before you decide to go and let them know what you're interested in, colors and all. Moving on to number three, things that I think about. Have you ever thought about, gosh, I got a bag full of stuff. You know, during the holidays, uh, your best friend, your husband, your son, your daughter, whoever, brings you bubble bath. I love a good bubble bath. And sometimes they have lavender bubble bath and bluebell bubble bath and pink bubble gum. Did you ever think or worry about why are all the bubbles always white? It doesn't matter what you put in your water, your bubbles will always be white. Think about it. Uh, how about this one? People are always saying, give you two cents for your thoughts. No, I'm sorry, it's two cents, put your two cents in. My mistake. But they'll only give you a penny for your thoughts. What happens to the other penny? <laughs> Think about it. Now these things have bothered me for years. We're coming up on April 15th. Is everybody ready? Okay. Think about this. The word the. T-H-E. And the word I-R-S. When you put those together, it spells T-H-E-I-R-S. It's all theirs. <laughs> When are we going to get it back? <laughs> All right. Ladies, when you go to the grocery store and you're doing your shopping, and you're going down the aisle, and you're shopping for cooking grease. Well, if corn oil is made of corn, and um, olive oil is made of olives, and uh, what's that new one that starts with a C? The canola oil is made of canola. What do y'all suppose baby oil's made of? <laughs> Think about it now. Babies, yeah. All right, you guys are good. I appreciate the laughter. If you're getting anything out of this, I would 
encourage you to tell me other things that you think about. Um, work. Any any workers still here? People who actually actually get up and go to work in the morning. Well, if work is so hard, why do they have to pay us to do it? I don't understand that. Oh, oh my Lord! Did I lose my card? Oh, I'm nothing without my card. Thank you. I'm I'm afraid to step off this because I'll be rolling forever. Y'all will never see me again. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Uh, another thing I think about, who was the person that made the decisions to put one first and A first? Why couldn't three have been the first number? I don't know. Think about it. Um, did y'all have ham for, th for Easter? Anybody have ham for Easter? Got, got a hand over here. Anybody else? Ham. Ham. What was ham so sick of that it had to be cured? <laughs> Think about it now. Moving right along. Am I going too fast? <laughs> okay. Now these are things I, why do you suppose? Why do you suppose that uh, 75 degrees is just perfect in the winter, but it's way too hot in the summer? Think about it now. Who was the person that decided to put an S in lisp? <laughs> Most of us have bank accounts, if we still have anything at all. Have you ever gone through the ATM to make a withdrawal? All right. You ready for it? Why do they have the instructions at the ATM in Braille? <laughs> when was the last time you saw a blind person dr drive up to the ATM to make a withdrawal? I question, I don't know. And another thing about a bank account. Anybody admit to ever having an NSF? Back in college, I had one. Well, anyway, why is it when you have a non-sufficient fund check returned, that the bank charges you an amount. <laughs> they know there's no money in there. Why would they possibly charge you for it? I'm just saying. All right, here's one. Ever had car repair? You need to get your car repaired? Why don't they use fix -a dent to repair your car? <laughs> Makes sense to me, fix a dent. I'm not a real doctor, but a real doctor, how many go to a real doctor who does his thing or her thing and then says, now I'm going to leave the room while you disrobe. The doctor's seen it all anyway. Why does he have to leave the room just so you can get undressed? I've never understood that. Oh, we're really on a roll now. Uh, vacationers. Anybody been to Hawaii? Come on, I've been there a long time ago. Hawaii. I question why there are interstate highways in Hawaii. <laughs> now, you know you cannot drive from island to island. But they have them, interstate highways. Anybody been to New York lately? Doesn't even have to be lately. Ever been? Okay, I question this. Everybody wants to see the Empire State Building. I did. Anybody else? You went? Okay. I question why people go to New York, worry about finding a parking spot, walk up and down the sidewalks until they find the Empire State Building, get in that elevator with a bunch of other people, ride all the way to the top, put their money in the binoculars to look down at the ground and see what the people down there are doing. <laughs> Is that absurd or what? Okay. Do you remember the old turnpike where you used to have to pay? It's now just, an old, just a regular turnpike. Why are there no turns on it? Think about it. 
Anybody recognize this little item here? Remote. Have you ever noticed that when you're using the remote and it doesn't automatically work, you push harder and harder and harder until you realize you don't even have any batteries in it. Why do we do that? Have we just become so accustomed that all we do is point and push? Back to the grocery store. You ever go looking for lemon juice? Lemon juice made of artificial flavors. But then you go over to detergent Detergent made with real lemon juice. <laughs> what is that? I can't believe I'm losing all these things. Um, okay, here's one. I made this one up. Of course, I made a lot of them up, but things do worry me. There's a new word out today called high definition. Y'all have a high definition TV? High definition something other? Well, girls, we have had high definition for years. Of course, we always called it Maybelline, but I don't know. <laughs> high definition. <laughs> Thank you for understanding and putting up. The next thing, I, naming things. Any M&M lovers out here? <laughs> Chocolate. Well, let me, if M&Ms were called O and O's, would they taste different? What about Mike and Ike candy? Remember as your child, I don't eat it now, but Mike and Ike candy? If it was Robert and Keith, would it have tasted any different? All right, you seniors can appreciate this. Are you ready? Listen good now. What do you suppose ever happened to preparations A through G. You know somebody was working on that. Oh, think about them poor little monkeys. A through G before they got it right. All right, I see bottled water out there. Hold your bottled water up. All right, hold it up and keep it up there for a minute. Of the bottled water drinkers, I want you to be honest, now God's watching. How many buy one bottle of bottled water and fill it up from the tap? Hold your hand up. Oh, look at that, how clever. Absolutely. Okay, let's think about bottled water for a minute. Where does bottled water come from? The clouds, God provides the water and the clouds and it rains down and it goes through all the hard rock and it goes through all the filtering systems and it comes out in spring water. Yeah. And they gather it up and put it in a bottle and give it a name. Look at your bottle. And then they put an expiration date on it. <laughs> Look at your bottle, it's on there somewhere. Not everybody has, has one, but uh, the bottles that I have have an expiration date on them. My favorite one is the original water, <clears throat> Evian. Anybody ever enjoy Evian water? It was one of the first ones, Perrier and Evian, were the first ones that came out before it got real popular. And I asked myself, whoever names these things says it's from the French Alps. They put it in a fancy bottle, named it Natural Spring Water. Let's see if I can find the expiration date on this one. Uh, there it is. Expires uh, October 23rd, 2011. <laughs> Notice I haven't opened it. But anyway, I was thinking about Evian water. Turned my bottle up and I was reading it. E-V-I-A-N. Spelled backwards. N-A-I-V-E. That's naive if I ever saw the word before. <laughs> Bottled water. Okay, which number was it? Thank you. I am, I am so sorry. I'm glad I put these on cards or they'd be down the hill with the cows. 
All right. You know, weather's changing. It's changing every day. And I question. They're talking about how the world is getting warmer and the ice caps are melting and the polar bears have nowhere to go. And just one thing after another, it's just doom and gloom every time you talk about the hot weather. My question is, could it just be Mother Nature having hot flashes? <laughs> you got that one. I heard a late, late uh, cackle over here. <laughs> well, knowing I was coming out and I was going to speak to a Bible group, I had a few, a few comments about our Bible. Why do you suppose the Bible has been around so long? Do you suppose it's because it's a true story and not just somebody's made up imagination? I do. And when I was growing up, my mama said, all your questions could be answered by going to the Bible. Did your grandmother and your mama tell you that? If you've got a problem, pick up your Bible. Everything will be answered. Well, I had some questions and I went to my Bible. First question I had was, if the disciples had been driving around in the wilderness and all through Israel and Jerusalem, what would they have been driving? Well, I started searching. Does anybody know what they might have driven? If you remember the words of your Bible, they all came in an accord. <laughs> all right? <laughs> And um, newlyweds, sometimes newlyweds have a question of what they're going to do, who's going to take responsibility for taking out the trash, and who's going to feed the pet, and all this. Well, I had a question when I first married, and it was who's going to make the coffee? I went to my Bible, and my answer was right there. Who do you suppose makes the coffee? Hebrews. Oh, someone knows their Bible. All right. Excellent, excellent. I would like to, uh, how am I doing on time? I would like to leave you with these words of wisdom. In your lifetime, someday you may be the pigeon, and the next day you might be the statue. So be kind to your feathered friends. <laughs> Anybody in the market for a new car? Me either, I can't afford what I've got. Uh, my advice to you is when you're buying your car, Never buy a car that you won't be able to push at one time or another. <laughs> Think about it. Another one, if everything is coming your way, you're probably in the wrong lane. <laughs> I wish that each and every one of us would take the opportunity to save this earth. It's the only planet with chocolate. It's been my pleasure to be here. My name is Judy Griffin. I enjoy making people laugh. That's one of the best medicines, and it's one of the gifts that God has given to me. I want to tell you that I hope that you live your life no faster than your guardian angel can fly. She's having a hard enough time keeping up as it is. <laughs> God bless you each and all. Are there any questions or comments or anything you'd like to make? I think I'm the end of entertainment list. Omer's going to dance again. No. <laughs> Thank you so much for your attention.